So can you tell me about your uh, involvement with BAM? Well, I started working with BAM, which is the Brooklyn Academy of Music, about seven years ago. And one of the things that I do there is that I, I teach art workshops for inner city youth. And really what we, we try to do is to give them a, a, a vehicle or some sort of an outlet to express themselves so they won't go down, you know, a, a negative road and ultimately a lot of these kids come from you know, single family households that you know they don't get a lot of the attention that they deserve and so they have outreach programs to kind of help you know really just to give them you know some of the experiences that other kids that are a little bit more fortunate you know have on a regular basis I, I guess people aren't so aware of that what, what, a, what an important time that is when you're a teenager and you're faced with these options about your future and when you're introduced to art, it obviously, it's a more positive thing that you go, wow, this thing I enjoy doing can do good in the yeah. world. Well, it's crucial because kids don't understand that, you know, the, the talent and the ability that they have is valuable. It's disposable because, you know, you're just sitting in your room and you're drawing. You don't think that that's something that's important. But when somebody shows you how to channel, you know, channel that energy and do something with it in a constructive way, it just changes the way you think. When I was a teenager, nobody showed me that. It took me years to figure that out. And, you know, and I'm, you know, running around, you know, scrolling, you know, my name on trains and fighting with my parents and all of that. So if you take a kid that's, you know, 10, 12, and you reach them at a young age and you show them how to turn that into something positive, not only do you see their faces light up, but you see the parents' eyes light up because the parents don't, don't know how to, you know, connect with them on that level. And they, the parents come to me all the time and they say, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to connect with my son or daughter. And I says, you know, I'm happy to do it because that was me 30 years ago and there was nobody there. And so, you know, to have a program like the programs, you know, here at the Graffiti Gallery and, you know, places like BAM in New York City, it's a great way for me to give back in the moment and still be able to do the things that I love to do and connect with young people that are just like me. It seems like we might as well segue that into the Graffiti Gallery. How did you come upon the Graffiti Gallery and what has your experience here been like? Well, I was introduced to the Graffiti Gallery by my friend Ernie. And so Ernie came here a few years back and he said, oh, it's really great, you know, they're really supportive of the work that we do. And he brought me and he introduced me to Pat Lazo and, and Steve and everything he said was true. It was literally like the same kind of programs that we have in New York City, except it's here in Winnipeg, Canada. And the thing that you realize first and foremost is that all those kids really are alike. It doesn't matter where they, you know, where they come from. They all need the same love and attention, and you know I, I joke that you know at times I sound like a you know a PSA, but those kids are the same kids that were me and Ernie when we were growing up, and to be able to kind of touch them early on before they get these you know like weird ideas in their head is priceless because. You know, some of those kids are really talented. I'm not saying that they're all going to be great artists, but you know, you take a hundred of them and you can touch, you know, three or four of them or five or six of them. There's going to be a master in that group because they just have natural ability. You just need somebody to pull it out of them. And, and in a way, you're telling the kids too that you trust them and that you're not saying, uh, you know, well, there's be more police around, so you better watch it. Yeah. Instead, you're saying, hey, I trust you to make. Yeah. judgments. Yeah, and, and you know, and the, the thing is, the stakes are so much higher today than they used to be, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Now, you know, the, the, the city is cracking down on, you know, kids that do vandalism in ways that they weren't doing before. They used to just give you a slap on the wrist, take your markers, throw them in the trash, call your parents. Now, you know, they want to press charges. You know, they want to take your, your parents' home away. You know, it's serious business. And, you know, they, they really look to make examples out of people. And so I try to encourage kids, 
not to do a lot of that stuff because I understand the repercussions as an adult and somebody that you know has you know a kid of my own and I really want them to understand that there are ways to express yourself and you know use that creative energy in a positive way and still be cool to the kids in your neighborhood this is not me saying hey you know don't do drugs you know I'm saying look hey do what you do but you know what this is a way that you can do it and still get the respect from the people in your community and do something positive and keep your parents off your back and still make your mark in society.